Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you have not already, definitely be sure to go ahead and subscribe because I would love to have you join my family here on YouTube. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button right now and also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this from me. So today I really just wanted to do like a favorites video. I haven't shared like the, my favorite things in a really long time. If you follow me on Instagram, then you see my favorite things in my stories because I usually will post like what I'm eating or what I'm drinking or just what I'm loving. Um, Instagram stories is a really easy way for me to do that. So yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen some of these things before, but I wanted to just bring them here on YouTube because I've been loving a lot of new things lately. I don't think I've done a video like this in several months, so I wanted to just come and share my favorite things and just things that you didn't know you needed. Also, I'm filming in my office room beauty room workout room it's literally a multi-purpose room so if you like this backdrop let me know and i can film in here more often so before i get into the video i did want to give a huge thank you to faithful counseling for sponsoring today's video um counseling is definitely something that i feel like people need but don't really know that they need it and honestly there doesn't have to be anything wrong with you in order to utilize counseling like counseling is beneficial to everybody just like how the gym is beneficial for people whether they're overweight or at their healthy weight or if they're looking to maintain like counseling is like the same thing but for your mind no matter where you are in your life you probably could benefit from counseling um if you're not familiar with faithful counseling they are an online christian counseling service it's very convenient signing up and getting paired with a licensed professional in your state is very easy very seamless when i signed up it took me like 10 to 15 minutes um to get matched with somebody in my area so it's very convenient with faithful counseling you can do video chat phone call or secure messaging honestly whatever works best for you but i personally have found that just doing the video calls is the best i like to be able to see my counselor so yeah counseling is one of those things like i said that a lot of people don't know that they need until they're in it and they see the fruit and they see the progress so if you are kind of like on the fence about it I would definitely recommend Christian counseling and faithful counseling because you really can't go wrong just prioritizing your mental health, um, especially in 2021. I feel like we all could use a little bit of help with everything going on in the world. So if you are interested in learning more, I will have a link down below. It's faithfulcounseling.com slash Leah, and you can get 10% off your first month. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna get right into the rest of the video. So the first thing I wanna mention is press on nails. When I tell you that they have been such a game changer for me um, over the past few months, they really have. Like I literally was just painting my nails myself and they would chip like maybe within the first three days and it just wasn't like the most aesthetically pleasing. Right now I have on a set of press on nails and it's been like a week and a half since I've had these on and it's just like super, super, super convenient. In the pack, it does come with the different nails. It has a lot of different sizes. And then it also does come with the nail file and glue. So I've been using the glue that comes in the pack and it's been really awesome. And the only thing about like the press on nails is that you do have to soak them off in acetone. But honestly, I would rather do that at home than to do that at the nail salon um, and wait there and have them like hurting my nails. I know every nail, nail salon is different, but I've had really bad experiences with the nail salon. So what I like about press on nails is like the shape is just everything. So this is the set that I'm wanting to do next. And I just feel like it just looks really nice. Yeah, super convenient. You can get press on nails at like Ulta, Target, Walmart, pretty much anywhere and they're only like seven eight dollars and it's just so much more inexpensive than going to get your nails done and like the shape comes out looking great every single time because they're already shaped so yeah if you have not got onto press on nails yet i would definitely recommend it a lot of people put me on and i don't think i'm gonna look back it's just awesome so the next thing i want to mention is my candle warmer i picked this up from target and i will have everything linked below by the way, but I picked this up from Target and I love it. I mean, I've heard of candle warmers, I've seen them around, but I never really had tried one for myself and y'all, it's super awesome, very convenient. If you're not familiar, you literally just 
plug it up into the wall and then there's like a light bulb in here and it warms wax at the top. If it's not on, then the wax is not gonna be melted and that's why it looks like solid. There's so many different scents and like I said, I got mine from Target. This is what they look like. So I have like a vanilla bean amber, I have vanilla bourbon, and then I have lavender, white tea, eucalyptus leaf, and tangerine ginger. Um, and I just really like these because they're very inexpensive. I think like one pack of these is like $1.99. So as you can see, I just put in one of these squares and it just melts down into a whole aromatherapy situation. One thing that I did learn is that you have to like remove the wax. Cause I, at first I just kept adding more wax melts in here, but you do have to remove the wax in order for it to like stay potent and like smell like the scent. So basically you just cut this on and when it gets a little hot, you can like use something and like pop it out and then you're good to go. So yeah, it's very inexpensive and it smells up my open um, living room area a lot better than some candles. So yeah, if you haven't tried a wax warmer or a wax melts before, I would definitely recommend them because it really does help to make the, the home very homey and warm. The next thing I wanted to mention is my frother. I use this thing literally every single day and I just use it to do my matcha. And as you can see, you just press it right here and this mixes my matcha powder with my water like seamlessly so that there's no clumps. I don't have to like whisk it by hand or blend it. In the past, I used to use like a blender bottle and shake it up and that was just like creating extra dishes every day. But this frother is everything. I can also use this to create like a cold foam for my drinks. I literally will just put my um, cream into like a little container and just mix it and it becomes very frothy. So you can use it for something like matcha or like an iced drink or whatever you really wanna mix anything. I've seen people use it with like protein powder just to shake up their drinks. So it's very, very, very clutch. I have tried a couple different brands, but this one that I'm gonna link down below is really strong. Um, yeah, it's really good because sometimes they do get very weak and this one has been really great. So if you haven't gotten yourself a milk frother, definitely I would recommend it. The next thing I wanted to mention is an air purifier. I got this from Amazon. So the reason I decided to get an air purifier is because I live in an apartment and I'm in here all day, every day. Um, and I just figured it would be beneficial to have an air purifier, honestly, because who knows what the quality of the air is like. And I'm in here all day, every day. I work from home. It is still COVID, where am I about to go? You know, like for the most part, I'm in our place, okay? So I picked this one up off of Amazon and I like it because it's kind of like touch screen. Um, you can set it for like different settings, like two hours, four hours, up to eight hours. Um, they have like a nighttime setting where it's a little bit more quiet and it's just great. There are a lot of like benefits to having an air purifier and I'll put some on the screen but basically it can neutralize unpleasant odors, um, improve sleep, eliminate harmful chemicals from indoor environments, help with asthma. Um, yeah, and I always sleep with a fan on. I have since I was a kid, but ever since I got this, I no longer sleep with a fan anymore because this makes white noise. I've literally slept with the fan since I was a child. So I love this and I just feel like it doesn't hurt to make sure that your air is purified. So yeah, I like this. And it also came in black, I believe. And I just put it on the ground in our room and I just feel like I'm doing something good for us. Another thing I wanted to mention is this vanity mirror that I got from Amazon. I love it. I was literally using the smallest little mirror ever to do my makeup and my hair and it just was not working out for me. So I did get a vanity mirror and I'll insert some footage right here on the screen so you can see what it looks like. What I like about the mirror is that it's just, first of all, it looks cute. It's aesthetically pleasing, um, but I can just turn it on by pressing on the mirror and it does plug into the wall. But as far as like how I maneuver the mirror, I can press the mirror on and it just instantly like lights up. I can control whether it is like a warm light or a cooler light. So I like that I can alter the temperature of it. And then I also can dim it and make it brighter. And for the price, I felt like that's a really good deal because I've seen 
um, mirrors like this would be way more expensive. So yeah, I'm definitely loving this mirror. I can't believe it took me like seven, eight months of living in our new place to finally bite the bullet and get a vanity mirror, but I'm so glad that I did. So another thing I wanted to share with y'all is a bonnet that I got from Amazon, or not from Amazon, I got this bonnet from Etsy. I love it, and the reason I love it is because it doesn't slip off of my head. I don't know if anyone else had this problem, but literally whenever I would wear like the more traditional standard looking bonnets, every morning when I woke up, my bonnet would be like slipped back further, or it would just be off. And what I like about this is like it has it, like a stretchy material and it actually like stays on my head. It's very similar to a headband. And it has these ties in which you can wrap it around to make it more secure and more tight. And it's very spacious. And I have a lot of he hair, as y'all can see. So very spacious. Um, I will have the Etsy link down below. Um, I know that like when I was trying to get this, it was sold out, but I just signed up for the wait list. And I think like within a week I got notified and I grabbed this bonnet. It was long overdue for me to get a new bonnet and something that actually worked. But since I got this, I've just been so satisfied. So I had to mention it. So another thing that I recently purchased are some new slippers. I have mentioned these slippers before on my channel, but I recently got the black pair and I just love how luxe these are. They're so soft and they just look nice. Like if you're walking around your house and your feet are cold and you don't have any slippers, girl, I'm gonna need you to get you some slippers, okay? Because it just makes you feel like more sophisticated, more put together. Yeah, I might have my bonnet on, but at least I got these slippers on, you know? So it's just cute and they're really comfy. Um, these are from Amazon. But yeah, when I wear these, I feel like the the queen of the house okay and yeah they're just really cozy so i also wanted to mention a planner that i have been using and i got this planner from target like at the beginning of the year i looked in their section for planners and i looked through probably every single planner because i'm very specific of how i like my planners to be organized and i just love this planner one thing i like about the planner is that there's room to write down your personal goals for every quarter. And it's just really nice the way that it's all broken down. And I have found that like I cannot be productive unless I write down everything that I need to get done and I just go back and cross it off. Otherwise I get overwhelmed and I'm just like, what am I doing? I'm not getting anything done. Like that's how I will feel. I will literally feel like I've gotten nothing accomplished. So it's so important for me to write down what I need to get done and cross it off so that I know that I'm getting things done because I don't know about y'all, but I could be working on stuff all day and still feel unaccomplished at the end of the night for whatever reason. So my counselor recommended that I start using a planner and I have been for a few years and I love it. I like planners that are like broken down in a way that's like day by day, but like to-do list. And this is just amazing because it, there's just so many opportunities to write in it. Um, you can write your notes, you can write your priorities, you can write your goals for the week. And it just really helps you to be productive when you're keeping track of it. And it really helps you to be accountable. So I will have this one links below if I can find it. Um, if not, I'll find a different one. Some, some of them have like different covers, but the same interior. So yeah, I'm gonna try and find it for y'all. But if you're not using a planner and you have a hard time with productivity, definitely recommend. So the next thing I wanted to mention is a church that my husband and I have been watching every week. Corey, he brought it to my attention and we've been watching it every week and I really enjoy it. Um, the, the pastor's name is Darius Daniels and he has a YouTube channel and I think his church is called Change Church but we've been really liking to watch his sermons because he's very um, well-educated. You can tell that when he's preaching, it's not just like a ton of like fluff, but you can tell that he's actually studied the word and he's not just telling you everything you wanna hear. So I feel like with pastors, that's like super important that people are really reading the word and not just getting up on stage and entertaining people so yeah we've been really enjoying listening to Darius Daniels and I know that like his church is somewhere in New Jersey so when the world opens back up we'll probably go visit so if you are looking for a church online in which you can watch some of the sermons I would definitely recommend 
them and I will have um, the church channel like linked below. But yeah, we've been tuning in every Sunday. So if you wanna watch church with us, then you know where to find us. So the last two favorites I wanted to share with y'all are food. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen me talk about these before. And I love these. These are the spicy cheese curls. And these are found at Whole Foods. They're really, really good. I know that like Trader Joe's has their own version of this, but I would definitely recommend the ones from Whole Foods because the flavor is just better. So I was never really into like hot Cheetos or anything, you know, when I was a kid, they were just too spicy for me. But as I've gotten older, I can actually tolerate more spice. So I don't like my meals to be spicy, but I'm okay with a snack that's spicy. I don't know. Don't ask me about the reasoning, okay? But these are really good. I could literally sit there and just eat all of them. Mmm. Y'all. Thank me later. These are so good. And I think they're like $2 or something, like two something at Whole Foods. When the pandemic first started, when I tell you I was like, racking up on these like this is a perfect snack for if you're watching tv watching a show and you want something like flavorful i thank me later <laughs> all right so the last snack i wanted to show y'all are these pretzel slims and they're covered in dark chocolate so i recently got these from trader joe's and this is kind of like what they look like and they're just like really thin pretzel pieces covered in dark chocolate. I mean, I can't do the video and like not try it, so. <laughs> These are so good. These are good for like, if you want some chocolate, but you want something with a little bit of a crunch. I love these. And like six of the pretzels is like 120 calories, which is not so bad because they're really big. Well, they're not that big, but they're big enough, okay? So six of these should be able to like satisfy your sweet tooth if you have one. But I've really been liking these because I be I have a sweet tooth and they're just they're just good, okay? The next time you're in Trader Joe's, I would definitely recommend just picking them up and trying them. If you do try any of the snacks, let me know what you guys think. So that is it for my current favorites or things that you didn't know that you needed. I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know down below and also give this video a thumbs up. If there's anything that you were loving at the moment that you think that I should try, let me know. Comment down below because you know, we really can't do too much these days for fun because we're in the house. So just finding little things that you enjoy can really make your your day feel more special. So if you have any recommendations, let your girl know because I would love to try it. <laughs> 100%. Come on, bring them, bring them on. So anyways, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing y'all in my next one. Bye.